Alright guys, let's do exercise. So exercise 2.1 number 1. So let's do it together and make sure you have the calculator with you. So I have my calculator with me. Okay, the mass of vitamin E in a capsule manufactured by a certain drug company is normally distributed with standard deviation 0 0.04. 0 0.042 so the word normally distributed it is a population so sigma is equals to 0 0.042 a random sample of five capsules so sample is five capsule was analyzed and the mean mass of the vitamin was found to be 5.12 x bar why x bar because they take the sample and they calculate the mean Find a 95% confidence interval. So, confidence level 95%. Alpha is 5%. Okay, for the population mean mass. So, find, construct a confidence interval for 1 mu. Give an interpretation. Interpret. So, this is the extra information from the question. The question asks you to construct confidence interval for 1 mu. So, first you have to know which formula you want to use. We have 3 formulas here. So, which one you want to use? First formula, second formula or the third formula. So, look at the information given. They give you sigma. Sigma. So, means that sigma and sigma square is known. If your sigma and sigma square is known, straight away use formula number 1. So, the formula is x bar plus minus z alpha over 2 sigma over square root n. Alright, check one by one. Do we have the x bar value? Yes. Sigma? Yes. And yes. So, we don't have the z alpha over 2 value. So, from here, confidence level 95%, alpha 5%, so alpha 0 0.05. Alpha over 2 is 0 0.025. So, z 0 0.025, we have to look at our step table. So, look at your step table. Table 4, percentage of point distribution, normal distribution. So, our alpha is 0 0.025. So, here, 0 0.025. So, the z alpha is 1.96. So, here equals to 1.96. Right? So, now we got all the values. Substitute all into the formula. So, you get here. X bar is 5.12 plus minus Z alpha over 2 is 1.96 times sigma is 0 0.042 over square root N. N is 5. Okay. My style, I like to do this one first. And then 5.12 minus this answer, then I will get the lower boundary. So, the lower boundary is equals to 5.0832, right? And the upper boundary, 5.12 plus this value. So, the upper boundary is 5.1568. Is there any unit here? Yes, the unit is milligram mg. So, don't forget the unit. So, your lower boundary must be less than your upper boundary. Okay. Then, interpretation. So, interpretation, we are how many percent? 95% confident that, so you copy from question, population mass of vitamin E per capsule that the Population mean mass of vitamin E lies between your lower boundary and your upper boundary 5.0832 and 5.1568 milligram. 
Okay, done for number one. Alright, let's continue number two. A random number of 100 pieces. So, a random number of 100 pieces. So, N equals to 100 of wood is cut using a machine. The sample mean of length. So, sample mean as X bar is 1.06 cm. And the sample standard deviation S is 0 0.08. A. Find a 90% confidence interval. So, confidence level 90% for mean length of all the woods cut by the machine and interpret your answer. Okay. So, which formula you want to use? Can we use formula number 1? Cannot. Why? Because we don't have the sigma value. We only have the value of S, X bar and N. So, you cannot use formula number 1. So, cannot use this one. So, can we use formula number 2? Okay, you want to use formula number 2? Look at your N. Our N is 100. So, more than 30. So, we can use formula number 2. So, the formula is X bar plus minus Z alpha over 2 S over square root N. Okay, check. Do we have the X bar value? Yes. S value? Yes. N value? Yes. So, now find the Z alpha over 2 values. So, here, confidence level 90%. Alpha is 10%. So, alpha is 0 0.1. So, alpha over 2, 0 0.1 divided by 2, you will get 0 0.05. Z 0 0.05. Look at your stat table. Alpha 0 0.05 is here. So, 16449. 16449. So, substitute all into the formula. So, X bar is 1.06 plus minus 1 1.6449 times 0 0.08 over square root of 100. So, substitute into the calculator, you will get 1.0468 and 1.0732 centimeter. So, don't forget to interpret. We are 90% confident that the population mean length of all the woods lies between so, 1.0468 and 1.0732 cm. Okay, done for A. So, how about B? B, the question asks for the width. So, what is width? Width is equals to B minus A. What is B? B is your upper boundary. A is your lower boundary. So, B is 1.0732 minus A 1.0468. So, we get the value 0 0.0264 cm. Alright, done for number two. Alright, next exercise for number 3, I will skip. So, I will, look, I will let you to do it on yourself. If you want uh, me to check, you can... Give me your answer. So, let's do it number 4. It's different from the others. The result of a stress test, X, is known to be normally distributed with random variable with mean, mu and standard deviation 1.3. So, you know that it's normally distributed in mu is population and standard deviation 1.3 is also population. So, sigma equals to 1.3. It is required to have a 95% confidence interval for mu. So, confidence interval for 1 mu 
and then the confidence level is 95% with a total weight less than 2 so E is less than 2 oh, sorry it's not E less than 2 it's the weight less than 2 find the least number of tests that should be carried out so they ask for number of sample size so they give you sigma they give you confidence level they give you the width they ask you to find the n sample size the least sample size so what you need to do is you have to use the estimation error concept to find the sample size so let's look at this question if you look at this question this is the confidence interval sorry this is a confidence interval one mu so confidence interval one mu we have three formula all right so we have three formula so which formula you want to use because they give you the sigma we use the first formula so the formula is x bar plus minus z alpha over 2 sigma over square root n so this is the formula if you want to find confidence interval for one mu sigma is given but this question they do not ask you to construct confidence interval they ask you to find the n they ask you to find the n here the n okay so using this concept so we know that this one is x bar the uh, the statistic plus minus so this one is error okay so you know that error is equals to z alpha over 2 sigma over square root n okay so this one is the formula okay so from this information if you remember width is equals to 2 e okay so width here is 2 e so 2e is equals to width less than 2 okay so e is less than 1 so bring 2 to here e is less than 1 so we put into here e is less than 1 our e is z alpha over 2 sigma over square root n is less than 1 okay so now we have the sigma we don't have the n we have to find the n and z alpha over 2 we can find so confidence level 95 percent alpha is 5 percent so 0 0.05 alpha divided by 2 is 0 0.025 z 0 0.025 is equals to so alpha 0 0.025 here 1.96 so you put here 1.96 times sigma sigma is 1.3 over square root n is less than 1 so you put n here bring 1 to here you will and then you you will get 1.96 times 1.3 less than square root n Okay, so you times 1.96 times 1.3, you will get 2.548 less than square root n. Okay, how you want to discard the square root? You have to square both square. This one is square. Square equals to 6.4923. Less than n, so bring to here n is greater than 6.4923, so n equals to 7. So I hope you can watch this video for this exercise for many times to understand this solution for this exercise.